Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting down with you to show you exactly how I dealt with what happened to my face last week. For those of you that follow me on Instagram or watched last week's video, you will know that I ate something vegan and I had an allergic reaction. That resulted in not only my neck swelling up and being in pain, but blistering around my mouth and chin area. So I'm obviously dealing with this completely naturally, and I wanna show you guys that it's totally possible to do that. I have been using these products for some time and they are just amazing. So for those of you that have had a similar experience or have acne or scarring or anything like that, then this is a video to watch if you want to do it with natural, safe, healing, lovely products. So I'm gonna get straight into today's video, guys. Quickly subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And yeah, let's do this. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start from the night, the evening routine, and then bring it into the morning. I'm only showing you the products that are specifically for scarring and inflammation. I'm not showing you my entire skincare routine. That will come in another video. This is specifically for the situation I've got going on. And I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can see exactly how I deal with a situation like this occurring when you do have an allergy to something and your face just goes crazy like mine has. So the first thing I do after I've had a shower in the evening is grab my Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic from Ren. It's a resurfacing toner, it exfoliates and it brightens your complexion. And if there is any dirt left on your face, even when you don't wear makeup, your face gets dirty. Even when you wash it, there's always something left on your face, believe me, this will take it all off. You simply just grab a cotton pad and you pump down onto the bottle. One time is more than enough. I know I'm doing this in the morning, but it's just to show you guys. And you will see, even though I'm wearing nothing on my face at the moment, my face was dirty. After I've used the tonic, I then move on to another Ren skincare product and it's part of the same line. This whole line is just so good it's for glow brightening reducing dark spots and that's exactly what this is so this is the overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream i will put that all over my face and over my neck i'm not going to put it on now because obviously i want to put on my day moisturizer but this guys is what i'll use and this is what's helping reduce the scarring and the dark marks that I've been left with. So that is basically what I will use after the tonic. So tonic and then the overnight night cream. Okay, so another thing I wanna mention, which I haven't used this particular time, as we're talking about blemishes and breakouts, it was the perfect time to tell you guys about Skin Genius. It's a leave-on purifying gel. Now this is specifically made, this range is made, for severe acne. They have an entire range. They've got a cleanser, I think they've got a cream, they've got soap bars. They literally have a range that you need to use if you have severe acne. I tried this and oh my God, it just saves you. It really does just bring that inflammation down. And the time I'll put this on is when it's really bad. I won't use anything else. I'll just leave that on my face for the night. And then I'll wash it off in the morning. It is a, an amazing product just to have in your cupboard in case of any of this happening because girls we know these outbreaks can just happen at any time this is your natural acne product go-to should always be in your cupboard just in case this reminds me of the stuff that the doctor used to give me when i was young i had bad acne when i was a child and anyone that had or has acne will know this product I'm talking about. Well, actually, I don't know if they give it out anymore. The doctor used to give this sort of roll on stick and you'd have to roll it all over your face and it would literally feel like your face was burning. It was so strong. Even breathing it in was uncomfortable. And this kind of reminds me of it, but it's natural. There's no toxins. It's not got any nasty chemicals in it. So that's what I really loved about it. And it's nice to have an alternative over that stuff. I don't know if the doctor still gives that out, who knows, but if you do have acne or have issues with your skin, then this is definitely worth looking at. It's for teenagers, it's for adults, it's organic, it's natural, and it's amazing. So I had to tell you guys about that because I don't know where I'd be without it. I'm not gonna put it on my face now because as I mentioned, this is something that I use alone on the face. I won't use any other products, but it's very simple. It's just a pump you'll pump the product onto your hand 
and then you will distribute it all over your face. It does leave like um like a film, like when you wash it off the next day, you'll feel that come away. That is basically how you use it. It's very, very simple. Okay, back to my current routine. So I've used the tonic and I've used the overnight cream. And then the last thing I do before bed at the moment, and it's only when I'm having this situation, is I will use tea tree oil. It's very simple but it's so powerful. It's antiviral, it's anti-inflammatory, it's antifungal. It really just deals with bacteria and infections and whatever's going on naturally. But you never, ever use this neat on your face. What I mean by neat is putting this oil directly on your face. It's too potent, it's too strong, and you could have a really, really bad reaction. It will feel like you're burning. What you do is you grab a cotton pad and you need a carrier oil. So I'm using almond oil. You can use coconut oil, you could even use olive oil, whatever you want. Make sure it's obviously natural, 100% of that oil. You put a few drops onto a cotton pad and then with the tea tree oil, you only need a tiny bit. So I use about two drops and then I just rub the pad together to just combine everything. I suppose you could make a little tub and then use it from there, but this is what I do, it's the quickest way. And then I will just wipe the area down. This is not sticky, it's not oily, it just makes your skin feel quite soft. And you can see that it's making the area slightly red, but that's it working. I do realise that I've put half of my evening routine on my face, but for the sake of you guys, I'm just putting on everything today. It's only gonna help me. I'm gonna move on to what I do in the morning. And I like to keep it quite simple in the day. I don't like to load too much product on. And then I put my makeup on and I just feel when you have a situation going on, it just aggravates it. So right now I'm using water to wash my face in the morning. There's always a little bit of product left from the night. So I like to wash that away and then just pat dry my face with a clean towel and literally that is it. I keep it really simple. And then the only product I put on my face in the morning and I've been through so many moisturizers but I found one that my skin absolutely loves and it's the Coconut and Rosehip Calming Cream from White Rabbit. It's just sensational. The smell, the texture, how it makes my skin feel. I don't feel clogged up and I don't have breakouts, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna put that on now. This is what it looks like. And like I said, it just smells incredible. Just pop that on everywhere. You can see how hydrated my skin already looks and I've only just put this on. Although it feels a little bit like it's gonna be sticky, it literally just disappears and there's no stickiness but you're left with this like natural glow. And then what I would do at this point is leave this to set, go downstairs, have my lemon and water and green juice, and then come back when I'm done. That way the product's set in and I can put my concealer and my foundation on, which I'm actually gonna do with you guys now because I need to finish getting ready. And I thought I would show you the products that help me deal with this and hide it. Okay, that has set and I'm gonna move on to covering this all up and showing you guys exactly what I use in order to do so. The first thing I do is I use this mineral powder. I can't remember the name of it, but I will obviously link it below for you. But it is a mineral powder foundation from Jane Ardale. I wanna quickly tell you about the packaging because it's actually refillable. So this you always keep and then you pop this out and refill it so it's sustainable, which is great, and you don't waste so much packaging. I then grab this brush from Air Perez. I will find out what it's called and again, link it below. Simply get the product on the brush and then buff my skin. And as you can see, you really don't need very much, but it gives a nice, even coverage. Okay, now I need to cover up this. It's a difficult situation. It's dark and there is quite a lot to cover up, but thank God for this concealer. I have mentioned it so many times. I mentioned it in my last video. It 
is just amazing. It's the Air Perez Arnica Concealer. So I will start with my ring finger and I will just sort of dab it around the area because there is so much going on here. I need to sort of spread it out a bit first. You can already see that it has covered that up quite a bit. But you can see, look how much coverage it has. I've also mentioned before that this concealer has healing ingredients in it that actually get to work on that area. And once I've done that and sort of covered the big area, because it is a big area, I will then take the Air Perez concealer brush. So it's got a sort of flat, bigger head on that end and then a smaller one. You can really get into those difficult areas and cover them up. So at this point, I use the smaller part of the brush and I will tackle the worst parts. So it's a mixture of dabbing with the brush and then it's lightly, lightly, lightly dabbing with your ring finger. The product works when it heats up, so you just dabbing is absolutely enough. Okay, so that's that, and you can see that it has absolutely done the job. Thank the Lord for this concealer, guys, honestly. You'll wonder how you lived without it. Moving on, I lock in all of that with a setting powder. It's the RMS Beauty Tinted Unpowder, and I'm using it in shades two to three. I just tap the product into the lid, like so. And then I use a fanned brush, a little bit at a time at the end of the brush, buff it in to the skin and the product and lock that all in. The next step would be blusher. I'm using Air Perez's Pure Rice Powder in shade blush. And then I use an angled brush for this. Moving on to the blusher, it's also Air Perez and it's their Rice Powder Blush in Bondi. The last step for my face is giving myself a bit of glow. So I have washed my beauty blender and then I squeeze it dry with a cloth to just get out that excess water. You don't want it to be too wet, you just want it to be damp. And then I grab any oil. I have got my sweet almond oil here to hand. So I'll use this and I'll put a few drops onto the beauty blender. You don't need a lot. And you can see, look, I may have put too much oil on the uh, blender. So it just shows you how little you really need. <laughs> Lastly, I lock that all in with Jane Ardile's Balance Hydration Spray. And that just locks it in. I'm gonna finish up doing my lips with you guys because I might as well and I always get questions as to what I use. So for the lip liner, I use this by Tropics. It's their silk lip liner. I don't know the shade, but I will find it and link it below. <laughs> It looks a little bit out there at this stage, but bear with me. Then I move on to the Air Perez Olive Oil Lipstick in shade Runway. This is my go-to. I wear it all the time. And then I'll take a gloss just to finish up with. So I'm currently trying out the Jane Ardale Iced Mocha. Just dab it in the middle of my lips. I completely forgot to show you a really important step for the healing of the scars. I'll show you now because it's not a cream, it's not anything like that. It's actually a LED face mask. So I've had this for so, so long. It's absolutely amazing. With this one in particular, it's not one of those that you use one time and you throw away. It's not one with just one setting. I'll show you the handle you can see that there are many, many settings. You've got wrinkle reducer, you've got acne buster, you've got skin balancer, red away, radiant skin, skin soother, cell rejuvenator, skin booster, pain blocker, daily dose and quick fix. Each one of these do a different thing and have a different light. I think there's something like eight 
lights on this you've got the red you've got the blue pink you've got the infrared they are all there each of these settings will use the different lights this one's self-explanatory acne bust up so when you have an outbreak it will use mainly a blue light to deal with the bacteria so that is one i will use when the acne has broken out this is something that i will do when i'm going to sleep so i'll pop the mask on just before i go to sleep a lot of the times i actually fall asleep in the mask which is very annoying but the light are just so relaxing. I will then use the cell rejuvenator to basically rejuvenate my cells. It does what it says on the tins and it deals with the scarring. This isn't an overnight fix. This is something that you have to do every day. I'll quickly show you the mask on. So if I pop it onto a setting, that's cell rejuvenator. If I put it on skin booster, you can see that it's a red light, pain blocker blue, pain blockers for like burns. If you've had sunburn, it's really good for that. This is absolutely amazing. And I really wanted to show you guys because it's what's helped with my scarring over the years. And I'm currently using it with what's happened recently. In a few weeks time, I will do another video so you guys can see how all these products have worked and how my skin looks, just to show you. <laughs> 